Hello everybody! This is our video solution to problem 6 from Super Quiz 3 and we are on to the final section of the Super Quiz where we explore Taylor and McLaurin series. Uh, actually in number 6 we don't quite go the full series route. Uh, we're actually just going to stick with the fourth order Taylor polynomial. We want to find it for the cosine of 2x and it looks like we're going to center it, ah, not at x equals 0, but at pi over 3. So it's a true Taylor polynomial. So uh, we better write down what it is we think this is going to look like. So our fourth order Taylor polynomial is going to be, well, let's see, it's always going to be a sum, right? Okay, it's going to be a polynomial. And uh, what is, say, the, uh, the kth term going to look like? So we go from 0 to to 4, and let's see what we're going to get. We're going to take the function. Now, I know it's cosine of 2x, but let me just write this as f of x. I'm going to take the kth derivative of f, evaluated at the center, which is pi over 3, divided by k factorial, times the kth power of the difference between x and the center, pi over 3. All right, so we're going to have to write this whole thing down. So in order to do this, let's make a little chart. So let's see, our k is going to run between 0 and 4. So 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And we're going to need the kth derivative of f. So let's write down then all the kth derivatives. And then, of course, we're going to need to evaluate that kth derivative at pi over 3. So the zeroth derivative, that's just defined to be the function itself. So this is cosine of 2x. And then I'm going to start taking derivatives, right? So let's see, the derivative of cosine is negative sine. By the chain rule, I get an extra 2. So I'll get negative 2 sine of 2x. Another derivative will be negative 4 cosine of 2x. Then 8 sine of 2x. Notice the minus goes away because, again, we took a derivative of cosine that gave us negative sine, so the negatives cancel. And then finally, we're going to get 16 times the cosine of 2x. Okay, now we need to evaluate each of these when x is equal to pi over 3. Now, in each case, we're going to get 2x, so 2 times pi over 3. So 2 times pi over 3. Uh, well, okay, that's just 2 pi over 3. Okay, nothing interesting there. But it'll probably be useful to write down the cosines and the sines. So it might be useful if you can't remember this right off the top of your head, draw your unit circle. And you know that at pi over 3, the coordinate here, the cosine is given by 1 half. The sine, which is the second coordinate, is given by root 3 over 2. So if you do 2 pi over 3, we know the coordinates are going to be negative 1 half and root 3 over 2. So the cosine is negative 1 half and the sine is positive root 3 over 2. Okay, so now we can use that to evaluate all these kth derivatives. So here we just have the cosine of 2 pi over 3, that'll be negative 1 half. Uh, negative 2 times the sine, that's just going to be negative the square root of 3. Uh, negative 4 times the cosine, that's going to be positive 2. 8 times the sine, that'll be 4 times the square root of 3. And 16 times the cosine will be negative 8. Okay, so now we have all the data. So here we go. When k is equal to 0, we get the 0th derivative, which is negative 1 half over 0 factorial, so negative 1 half over 0 factorial, times x minus pi over 3 to the 0. Okay, when k is equal to 1, we're going to get negative root 3 over 1 factorial, and then x minus pi over 3 to the 1. Okay, what about when k is 2? We'll get 2 over 2 factorial, x minus pi over 3 squared. When k is equal to 3, we're going to get 4 root 3 over 3 factorial, x minus pi over 3 cubed. And finally, when k is equal to 4, we'll get negative 8 over 4 factorial, x minus pi over 3 to the 4th. 
All right. And we can simplify this, right? Like, it's probably nice to do so. In fact, let me move this table down a little bit. Give us one more line. All right. So let's simplify this a little bit because, look, we got a zero factorial. That's one. A zeroth power. That's going to be one. So we'll have negative one half plus. Okay. Uh, negative root three. So this will become a minus the square root of three times x minus pi over three. Two over two factorial, that's just one. So plus the square of x minus pi over three. Okay, now this one, it's not as nice as simplification, right? Three factorial is six, so I can make four over six, two over three. So I guess two root three over three times the cube of x minus pi over three. And then finally, we'll have a minus, and it looks like, okay, 8 over 4 factorial is 24, so this is a third, the fourth power of x minus pi over 3. Okay, and there we go. There is our fourth order Taylor polynomial for the cosine of 2x centered at pi over 3.